India is the world's largest democratic country whose attitude towards the war in Ukraine is causing disappointment in the West. Although India expresses disapproval of Russian actions, it has not punished Russia with sanctions and has abstained from voting on the war. We are meeting at a time of deep global divisions. At Foreign Minister, it is but natural that your discussions are affected by the geopolitical tensions of the day. We all have our positions and our perspectives on how this tension should be resolved. However, at the leading economies of the world, we also have a responsibility toward those who are not in this room. In considering these issues, we may not all always be of one mind. In fact, there are some matters of sharp differences of opinions and views. Yet, we must find common ground and provide direction because that is what the world expects of us. Backstage at the conference, there was an unexpected 10-minute conversation between United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. Blinken called on Russia to rejoin the New START nuclear weapons treaty. He called for the release of former U.S. Marine Paul Wellen from detention in Russia and stressed the continued support of the United States and its allies for Ukraine. This was the first meeting between the two men since the Russian invasion of Ukraine began last year. Previously, both delegations had insisted that such a conversation could not and would not happen. European Union delegates have announced that they will not support the final statement unless there is a condemnation of the conflict. Earlier, Russia, along with China, put up an objection on the issue at a meeting of finance ministers.